Hey, this is David for Big Bits, and in this video, we're going to do another look at an educational topic. We are going to discuss a strategy or an indicator's configuration settings. And now, I'm sure you're probably familiar with this on TradingView. You go to your indicator settings here, or the inputs, as a lot of them are referred to, and you can see there's a moving average one length and a moving average two length, and you can change these. But what we are going to be doing in this video is we are going to be adding another setting, and this is just going to give us an option to choose for pre-configured different settings for these moving averages. So by default, it's 10 and 30. We're going to set these to have a different option to where there is a 5100 and a 5200 available as well. So I'll go ahead and walk us through that in just a moment. But if you haven't already, please go ahead and like and follow here on TradingView. I do educational videos like this fairly often and also have a YouTube channel where I also post these videos and also have a bunch of other Pine Script tutorials that I've already made as well. So if you would go over there and like and subscribe as well to get those videos as well. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull up this wonderful script that I have, and I am going to publish this update after we're done with it. And we will look at our inputs. Let me zoom in down here. We have our inputs. And what we are going to do is we are actually going to copy these. Okay. Now, essentially, we have two inputs, but that's not what we really want. We want to set these default values on both of them. And I'm sure you're wondering, there's already a default value up here. Just be patient and you'll see exactly why I'm doing this. So these are the particular values and we are going to want to make sure we declare these as integers and you'll see why in just a moment. So we are going to add a new input. I'm gonna call this config. And this input, the default value is going to be uh, default. How about that? And for this, we are going to have options. And I believe this is how it's done. I, it's kind of hard for me to remember off the top of my head. We have default, and then we're going to have 50, 100, and then we're going to have 50, 200 as well. We'll save those. And let me zoom back out. Let's save this and see if it didn't give us any error messages and we actually need to rename these real quick just to make sure we don't get any errors we don't want to use the same name twice okay so that looks good let's make sure that our options are working the way we would expect yes the default value is set to default and we have options 5100 and 5200 as well so back to our code again we can go back and we can actually change these because these values, um, the inputs, the name of these variables were already being used down here. So in order for us to use our custom values, we're going to use those names of the variables here. And we're just going to add a capital I to the beginning of these. And these are our input values. And these are the variable values that we're actually going to use. So now we're going to set the actual values we're going to use based on our configuration option. So to do that, we're going to use an if statement. And we are going to compare our config string to whatever we have selected. And we don't need to do uh, default first. We will just save that one for last. And we really only need to worry about our special ones that we've created. So if the config, if the selection is 50 slash 100, we can set our MA1 length equal to 50 and our MA2 length equal to 100. And then thanks to a recent update, we can do else if and have our config and check it to see if it is equal to 50, 200. And then let's just copy this bit of code. Here, and instead of being 50, 100, we'll be 50, 200. And finally, just in case, we'll do our else, and this will cover the default option, and as well as any other mistakes we might have made. And we will just set our values here again. And we will just make sure that these are set to 10 and 30 as well, which are defaults. Now, there is a way you could probably have this 
to not be equal to that. You could probably even use the default values here themselves. But if you want to do like a catch all, say you made a typo in one of your inputs or in one of your if statements, this would kind of catch all instead of just doing else if uh, config equals default. So you could probably do MA1 length equals the input for MA1 length. And we might even try that again in a minute. But if you wanted to catch every mistake you could make as the default values, just have your input defaults match your defaults uh, in the else statement of your if else branch. So let's actually take it out of Zoom Let's save this and let's try it. Okay, that worked. Let's go to our settings and let's choose the 50 over 100. Hey, there you go. We're now at a 50, 100, but you'll notice our input values don't change, but you can see the configuration value up here. Let me zoom in actually. You can see the configuration value changed, but not the inputs. So if we select the 50, 200, one of those lines stayed the same and the other one change to the 200. So this is working exactly how we wanted. Let's change it back to default. And there we go. We're back to our default options again. So that handles that. Now let's actually go back and set this here. And excuse me for just a moment as I do this, there's really no need to zoom in here. We are just setting the links here equal to the input okay and we want to do our input values i will zoom in now so you can see this i have added an else if for the default we'll do two here and this is why it was important for us to declare these as integers because our input type was an integer and if we're going to set these values equal to the input the data types have to match essentially you can only set an integer to the value of an integer um, and now what we have is we have the 5100 the 5200 and the default but like i said earlier if we made a mistake this would catch it and i'm not going to change these values because they're not going to be hit based on what we have selected here so we're just going to save this and we're just going to make sure that our default options work there you go 50 by 130 and that is using the default configuration so uh, i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something from it if you have please like the video if you're on youtube while you're down there liking the video please also subscribe as well make sure to check out uh, anything else that's on my profile as well that'd be great but that'll do it for today thanks and have a great day